I don't judge people. I just give my fair opinion. Come on in. Lounge. The lounge is where we talk about everything and anything. Lounge. Leave out all the drama Come and all the trouble. In. Lounge. We welcome everybody in the lounge. Come on in. Lounge. Welcome back to the lounge, everybody. Glad to be here. Hopefully everybody's doing okay on this wonderful Sunday, and uh, had a good Thanksgiving, ate a lot of food, a lot of, a lot of snacks, pie, all that good stuff, and uh, that's over, right? Now we got to work on Christmas, which is right around the corner, folks, and then, of course, New Year's. We're going to have fun on New Year's. I've got, uh, I've got a guest coming in, and we will be uh, doing some videos. Now, I do know one of, the, one of the videos will be over on another channel, um, just because it's, you know, celebration, and I don't want to, you know, someone ends up cussing or saying something, you know, that I don't really want on, you know, or in the lounge. I'll, you know, that way I know it's not going to be in there and, People know that, you know, so, mm. anyway, um, wow, today's, today's just been one of them days, guys, um, I wake up this morning, realize we got a water leak, uh, here's the thing, I had knew that my backyard had had a lot of water in it, but I thought it was from all the rain we had got last week. It was really muddy and stuff. And over at one corner of my house, the back corner of my house, it's, it's opened up there, which it needs to be closed up. Um, it's completely underwater right there. Uh, I realized that today. Okay. Um, well, anyway, the, the neighbor came over and said, well, we got a bunch of water in our yard. There's water in our yard. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Um, and this was, this was after I realized that more than likely I got a leak. I said, well, I said, I probably got a leak. I said, I'm getting it fixed. And she said, well, there's water on my grass. Okay. There's water on your grass. What, you think I'm going to go over there with a water hose and suck it off your yard for you? I don't think so. It's water. It, it you know, it's not like it's three or four foot of water. And, and what, 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 you think I'm Superman? I'm not Superman, you know? So, she was like, well, uh, such and such looked at your meter and it's really spinning. Oh, okay, who is such and such? Who is coming to my property looking at my meter? Why are you looking at my meter? Why are, why are you, you know, why are you not talking to me? Why are you not asking me, sir? Is it okay if we go back here and look at your meter? We're trying to figure out why we got water in our yard. Anyways, because these people are real, like they are true true, like, better than everybody else, you know, um, when we moved in, and I'll get to the main topic of this podcast in a minute, but when we moved in, uh, my buddy, you guys know who he is, Giggly, uh, when he came, he had, like, pulled in our driveway, and his tire was just a little bit when I say a little bit, I'm talking like maybe an inch of his tire was on the grass. Like, and it's on an open lot. There's nothing there, like a big open lot beside us. And th this guy comes over and he's like, you need to move that truck. I'm like, what? He's like, you're on my property. And he walked literally over right by my garage. And he's looking down at the dirt. And he's like, our line goes to right here, and he put his foot 
on a spot right by the, you know, right, just, and, and there's no way that he's looking at the ground, and because he's looking back and forth, looking up and down, there, there's no markers or nothing, and he's sticking his foot, our line goes right here, you don't come across that line, all right, uh, first of all, that's fine, you want to play this, uh, this, this property game, we, we can do that, we can do that, that's, that's no problem. No problem. <laughs> no problem at all. But, uh, I can also play the game of you stay off my property as well. How's that? You'll come on my property, I'm going to go on your property, problem solved, dealt with. Stay on your own side of the, of the, of the fence, Jack. Well, there's not really a fence. But anyways, and, and the problem is this. This house and the lot beside us and then, then their lot, okay, there's an empty lot between us. But this house, that empty lot and their property was all one piece of property at one time. And then it got split up and this area over here on my side got sold and then they got their side over there. Well, they, they, did, they did not... Um, they didn't mark anything. There, there's no markers. There's no land land uh, markings. Nothing. The, the line is crooked, guys. Literally crooked. And because the lady was like, "Well," she said, and the first day I moved in, she was real nice, so I didn't think we were going to have problems like this. But anyway, um, she's like, "Well, the people that lived here before you, they they built this garage, and she said the corner of this garage is on our property." Now, guys, our garage is not crooked. It's straight, lined, center with the road. It's, it's lined right up, you know, from the road back to the garage. It's a, it's a straight line. So it's not crooked, okay? So what's crooked is how they're saying their line is. Their, their, their line is it's crooked. So, like, uh... A foot of my garage, a foot of my driveway is apparently their property. Now, that's that's fine. We we, we can we can do this. I've I've not had to deal with this anymore um, since we had that one little dispute. Um, Cause I'm just I'm not going to deal with it. I'm not going to put up with this stupid stuff. I mean, uh, first of all, whoever did all this before I came here, that that wasn't my problem. Uh, and it's, it's still not my problem. Um, the, they evidently need to, need to get the, the markers lined up and, and do it the right way. Uh, it was not done the right way, evidently. Because if it was, there would be markers. We'd be able to know where the property ends, where property starts. Uh, you know, that's, that's just, you know, common sense of it all, you know. Um, and if, if, you know, if anything, I've, you know, I've thought about doing a couple of different things, you know, uh, uh, privacy fans, stuff like that, um, because they're just, they're not nice people. They're just not good people. Um, I don't hate them. I just don't agree with them. I don't, I don't agree with them. They're not, the, the lady's really, you know, she's more polite and stuff and talkative, but, but the old man, he's not. He's not very nice. He, uh, you know, he's got this attitude that uh, I work two jobs. I'm better than you. Uh, I drive a new vehicle. I'm better than you. My house looks better than yours. I'm better than you. Uh, so one of them deals. Anyways, let's uh, move on to other topics. Um. I forget your name out there. I, f I forget what your name is. I blocked you from putting comments anymore because you were just rude and disrespectful. But your last name was Sledge. Sledge. Like, you're, 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 you're like uh, the hammer without the sledge because your comments are disrespectful. They're rude. Um, you, you're inconsiderate. And frankly, you can just keep on swinging that sledge because... It's doing you no good. And I'm serious. Her last name was Sledge. 
I forget what her name was, but um, I don't know. She said this comment about um, you need to go back to school on on uh, uh, taking vlogging classes. First of all, there is no class that you take to vlog. Secondly, I've said this once, I'll say it again, I'll say it a million times. Everybody that's subscribed to this channel know that the way that I do my vlogs is I do them, you know, original. I don't make everything perfect. I make it the way it is. That way people can really, really, really see who I am. That way, you know, they know I'm not trying to be picture perfect, you know, and I'm not. Because I'm not perfect. Um, so, I, I don't know why you why you people, you know, waste your time on trying to insult people. Um, you said that, uh, I forget how it was said, you know, oh, I'm not trying to uh, be mean. I'm not trying to insult. But then, you insult. You contradict yourself, which makes you a hypocrite. And I can't stand a hypocrite. Someone that thinks that they're one better than other people, two, you'll you'll say something and then you'll you'll pretty much go against what you just said. It's just dumb. So, you know, myself, uh, some of my uh, collaboration partners, and everybody else that subscribed to this channel, we don't really care what you got to say. If you don't like what's on this channel, you don't like what we say. You don't like what we discuss, you don't like what we show you, you don't like what we don't talk about, or you don't like the way we talk about things, then take your ass somewhere else. End of the story. Case closed. And I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. Oh, by the way, I loved it too, guys. When she did that, I, I, I gave it a heart. And I even pinned one of them. I don't, I don't remember which one it was, but... Uh, anyways, you know, it is what it is, guys. It's, it's, you know, it is what it is. Um, I've been, I've been messing around with some stuff on my laptop trying to figure out some new, uh, editing software. Uh, no luck yet. I, I do know how to record with my laptop, so that's good. You guys seen some videos from that. Um, but now I, I'd, I'd really like to be able to add stuff to the video like sound you know in the background and I just wish some of these programs would just make it simple enough that you know if you want to add something listen here's how I would do it if it was me if I was a programmer when you open the program okay and you add in a video you know you hit control in for a new video um, and you know you search what video you want to add in there and then it loads in right and when you want to add a sound control a there you go. Simple. Uh, and when you go to add the sound, this is what I this is what I would do. When you hit Control A, it would ask you to pick the sound. And then when you hit Enter on that sound, it would take you through a couple steps. It'd say, Do you want this sound to equal the volume of the of the video? Do you want this sound to be seventy percent of the video, fifty percent of the video? And then you could pick that, and then have a couple other things. Would you like to filter, you know, uh, add any filter effects to the sound? You know, like echo or you know any of that stuff I, I really wish I knew how to program because I, I could make I could make a program so accessible for people and every blind person that likes to do videos would want to you know thank me for it but unfortunately I don't know how to do programming that extensive so uh, it'd be nice if I did but I don't um, I thought about trying to find uh someone that does do programming and actually seeing what it would cost to get the program designed because it'd be simple it would be a simple program and uh but if i did that then it wouldn't be a free program and then people would complain well it's not free but i don't know we'll we'll see what happens um anyways i just wanted to come on here talk to you guys for a little bit and uh, get my message out there uh, to uh, Sledgehammer, even though she's, you know, whatever. It's unfortunate people's got to be like, oh, and then tells me, 
Get this. Then you then you send me a message and you tell me, don't be smoking on camera. First of all, I, I don't think, at least last time I checked, I don't see any policy that says don't smoke on camera. Uh, and I, I don't think, I don't think you're you're a manager or a moderator or anything like that. Hell, I don't even think you're a subscriber. So that pretty much makes your comments go to the bottom. The bottom of the bucket. The uh the slush. So I just have to have blue wings take out the slush and dump the bucket out back and there we go. Problem solved. All right. I'm drinking coffee right now, guys. I got... I, I had a cup when I got up this morning. I got a cup now. It's my second cup. No, it ain't. No, it's not. It's my third cup. <laughs> Anyways. Um, I was going to do it separate. Matter of fact, I am. Got another video, or not video, but before, podcast that I'm going to be doing here in a little bit. Uh, some of you might not like it at all, and some of you might, I don't know. Um, but it's it's based on blindness, and I, and I would just like to talk about that a little bit, uh, about understanding uh, blind people. Um, I know I've done these before, and uh, I, I think most of you like when I do these videos because it allows you to understand more about us. And kind of how we look at things and how we, you know, feel about different things. Um, even though, you know, there's a lot of things that, you know, even even us blind people have different opinions on altogether. You know, when someone says, oh, well, you know, blind people don't like that, do they? I say, I don't know. Because uh, everybody's different. They say, well, you know, does, does blind people, does it bother blind people when, when you do this or that? I, I honestly say, I don't know. I can't speak for every blind person. I can speak for myself and say, no, it doesn't bother me, or yeah, it does. But anyways, love you guys very much. Um, I'm actually looking for someone to help with creating us a intro video for Lounging with John. Um, I'm working on that, trying to find someone who can do that for me. And um, the same person, I'm going to see if they can get me just a... a uh, uh, someone that might even be able to do some other stuff for us. So, anyway, we'll see how that goes. I'll keep you guys updated. And uh, I just want to say I appreciate all you guys out there. I love every one of you guys so much. We're at 420. Um, that number's not went up for the last few days, but that's okay. You know, it's been the holidays. Um, but I know with you guys helping with sharing and all that, telling your friends about us, and, you know, uh, it, it always makes a difference. So, for that said... We'll go ahead and get out of here, guys. And like I said, I, I, I just respect and love you guys so much for the way you guys show me support. And you guys are always there for me when, when things are rough. And uh, I appreciate that. So like, share, subscribe, and uh, I'll talk to you guys here real soon. Bye-bye. About all the drama and all the trouble. We welcome everybody in the lounge. So come on in, lounge with John. Come on in.